Since we know how to create a custom hook, now it's time to create a custom hook for the fetching of the image from Unsplash. And now, as a convention, we need to start from use keyword. So it's like a use fetch image dot js. Very easy. So I'm not going to name it like a use Unsplash because as I told you, it's not required that maybe later we can use an other thing other than uh, unsplash. Okay, so let's once again create this. So use fetch image, image, not <laughs> image. Okay, so we have done that and we just need to move these things from here. So cut it from here and paste it. Okay, so we have pasted, but we need the axios. Okay, we have here. Then uh, ID secret are there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say const and const URL is equal to this one, like here. Const secret is equal to like this one and now i can say url and the secret okay that's good and i did this because to minimize this line so now it is looking good and we have separate everything is separate okay now we need to set the image so that's how we need a use state so creating a state and i call it data or you can call it images like this initial value is empty array because it should be nothing so yeah and import the use state which is not importing actually imported <laughs> okay so that's imported so we are setting the images so we need to use capital i here that's done but uh, at last we need to return the images that's what we need okay so now we have the images here and we have created the custom hook to fetch the images let's go here and let's see how we can use it now since we are returning the images directly from here we don't require this use state so we can totally remove it and I can say const images is equal to use fetch image that's it that's done actually now we don't need this axios and obviously this layout is also not required okay so we have done that and let's go here now it says set images is not available so i think we are using set image somewhere else also yeah here we are using hmm so what we can do actually uh, okay so we need to return this set images also now just like every hook is having we are returning the set images also now this time we need to destructure it like this set images so like here images and this time everywhere we are using with a set image with a small i we need to change it with a capital i because now we have capital I cool so let's once again try and yes it is working very very nice but as soon as I open the network tab we can see we have a request every second and why this is happening this is because on our use fetch image we are not using any use effect kind of things so we are keep repeating this axios call so now we need to say use effect and inside I'm going to use this and this is only going to run once and import the use effect yep done and now let's try once again so I just go once again so here and it is still doing that part yeah so now it is not uh, uh, having a flood of API calls it just once it is called only once so you can see only one call is there that means we can have all the features we previously have that means we can remove any image 
and that's working fine because we have renamed the set images also and we are returning the set image so in that way you can see we have removed the logic of fetching the image into its own custom hook called fetch image and that's very very nice thing but next is like yes we have this thing but what if i want to load more images from the api like a uh, image uh, page 2 kind of things let's do in the next episode